Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Skatecraft. And today I've got rock spires that I'm going to show you how to make cheap and easy, and they'll save you the $45 price tag of the rock terrain set. So let's get All to right. it. So we'll start with some aluminum foil. We're just going to hold this to get kind of a flat bottom. And we'll take one edge. Another edge, spin them around. And we're going to just form a spire out of this. Give it a flat bottom. And that should match up on our piece nicely. Okay, now we'll just take a hot glue gun and uh, we'll generously apply some glue to the bottom of this. Try to keep it closer to the center though, because once you get it to the edge, it makes the piece uh, incapable of attaching to others. And what good is that? Now I can. Uh, go through and fine tune the shape of our spire and that should be good and solid alright so now that we've got our spire attached we need to uh, clean up this base and uh, make it flow into the rest of our hex I'm just going to apply some hot glue around the base. I'm going to take a little bit more aluminum foil. I'm just going to apply it to the base of this structure. Okay, so now since we've got our base covered, we just need to uh, trim the excess or even fold it in. I'm just going to try and fold it. Alright, I believe that's looking good. Alright, now for painting. Uh, I'm just going to use some black acrylic and try and uh, give this a pretty solid base. That should be alright. Now we don't want to use any water with this unless you're wrenching just because you're trying to fill in some of those holes that are left by the uh, aluminum foil itself. Definitely want to be generous with the amount of black you apply since this is our base. Back to it. Alright, now since our um, spire has dried, and I did a second layer of black, 
just to make sure all my crevices were filled in, uh, we're going to move to painting the stone colors. So I have the dark granite for our uh, beginning gray. For this, you don't want too much on your brush, just enough to really spread the color over the uh, tops, but you don't want to sink it into all the crevices. Got that done, we'll let it dry and then we'll go to the highlights. Alright, so now that our gray is dried, uh, we're going to use the timeless gray for some highlights. Now be sure to get a lot of the excess out because you just want to lightly over this. can see the uh, stone texture. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that your crafts were just as successful as mine. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe so that I know to make more videos like this and you'll be the first to know about it. Thanks.